Yo. How do I look? You look amazing. Am I glowing? You said what? <sighs> Thank you. Nothing. How's my How's my signal? Signal's good. It's going in and out, I think. This is a nightmare. No, no, no. Okay. It's all the way. Oh, thank God. What's what happening? All right. Where are you coming from? Right. What do you want to know? No way. You're here. Uh, I was at uh, <laughs> I was at Andrew O'Connor's house picking up a projector for tomorrow. One of the performers wanted a projector. Oh so, hell yeah! I'm Shout trying out to be to Andrew. Uh, a common, a common. Yes, he saved me because, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be easier to find a projector. I thought everybody had projectors, but <laughs> no. But they had two, so they let me borrow one. And oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, what are you going to so we'll use see. I have uh, one of the people that are performing tomorrow at this little ambient, like, chill event thing I'm doing with my roommate and some other people. They won. They have, like, a visual aspect. I didn't ask any questions. I have no idea what it's going to be. I think it's going to be great. I, I saw them perform, like, another time, like, in this garden. And I remember the vibe was, like, so thick when they started playing. Like, have you ever been at, like, an event or, like, a concert or something, and you start, like, looking around, like, because you're, like, the vibe is so strong, and you just feel, like... <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, like, is everything on the same vibe? That's how I felt when they were playing. I was, like, oh, no, this is special. Like, we're all here. Also, it was, like, later in the night, so we're all, like, lubricated a little bit with substances or alcohol or whatever, but <laughs> I just was, like, I want to get these people. Anyways, we'll see. I mean, with any sort of event, like, I'm always like, maybe nobody's going to come. So you never know. <laughs> Actually, I don't always think that because in Houston, I don't. I kind of know what I'm going to get because I have this. Abo- doesn't matter. I'm not about to just talk about parties. No, I'm, I mean, I'm not, shit, I'm not just a walking on the fucking party, bro. Yeah, you're not. You're Jesus. not. You're not but, but hold on. Hold on. We're going to we're going to give it like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because I am curious, like, the, you, so you're, you're throwing that at the perfect time because like, I literally haven't been outside in like a million years to hang out with any of my friends. Yeah, well, and yesterday, everyone hit me up at literally the exact same time. And it kind of gave me a panic attack. And I was like, why don't I just like tell them all to meet me at this thing? You know, if you look, no pressure. I've been <laughs> doing this shit long enough where I'm just like, I don't care if, if somebody's going to come. If they want to come, they'll come. So if you end up not coming, you don't even have to message me. You're sorry. But if you do pull up, I'm a working door. So that's one thing is like, I can't really, I'm sure everybody's just going to be dying to hang out with me, but I'm working door. So I'll be like on step. But if you oh, get man. all your friends to come, it'll be cool. I think it'll like, if as long as they're like somewhat open-minded about music, I think they'll enjoy it. It's like pretty chill. It yeah, is yeah, like that's, ambient that's what music. I wanted so to it's ask. not like what a dance party. Vibe? It's it's so it's chill. The vibe is no no dancing. The vibe oh, is no yeah. drums. The vibe is like we usually do chairs when this last venue we had we did like chairs. a sitting thing. But this venue is a little I kind of got lazy like cuz the last spot had chairs for us cuz I'm not about yeah. to sit and listen to like fucking drones while standing. <laughs> um like I like <laughs> sitting and like just zoning out but um this place i was gonna bring my own chairs because it's our first that's also another thing it's my first time doing it at this spot and they yeah. usually do like djs so i'm like wondering what the vibe is gonna be Whew, i'm out of breath um no you're all good <laughs> but you're, you're it's gonna be tracking. it'll be chill uh, i hope it's chill i just like the first two that we did were like really good and like vibey but the third one was kind of a bummer so we kind of just did a, me and my roommate took like an unspoken break um we were just like, we're just not going to do one for a little while. And that was like six months ago. Um, and now it's fucking, uh, now it's October. But I've been. Dude, I've honestly, been it busy. doesn't, it does not feel like it's been that long, which is kind of crazy. Um, Yeah, I was thinking, of, like I was walking around like with a jacket today and like feeling, or I took a bike ride and I was like in pants and a jacket. And I was like, oh, it did, it did that. The season is different <laughs> now. Like. It actually, it's just yeah. Oh, it's official! Wait. Like we really made it through. It's cold now. You you took a bike ride for what? To go somewhere for no reason? For no reason. You know I love we, taking my bike we gotta, rides. We gotta run that shit up. I just got my baby, my steed. Hmm. 
I mean, if you're really about it, about it, then let's do it. But well, I'm gonna, go? we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, I usually go to the water. Uh, I pretty much found like if I go to the water, it, I always find something. So usually I find like a green patch or like a park, and if there's like, or maybe like a baseball field, and if it's on the water, usually there's like some sort of hidden path behind it or some shit where people are fishing or something. I like being around people that are fishing. I like being in some like non like a non-government made park like some some other shit some like Dude, scary shit where there's shit. i do i try to find the like today i was in canarsie and i like took a turn and it's always a part where i'm like uh this is like i've seen all this before i've seen all this i want to be somewhere i've never seen i'm like okay here's canarsie park this is boring and then i see a little path and i'm like okay i go into the path and then i turn the corner and i see like a swampy thing and i was like I did it. Shit. I found something. I found a little swamp. And I oh, I did feel like I was in Texas because the water was like green. It was gross. But it wasn't It wasn't actually a swamp. It was really just a small pond. One sec. Let me go inside real quick. But you yeah, talk. Yeah, say something. Good. Say yeah, something. no, like you, you, you always post these like pictures of you in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I'm like, where the fuck? Like he lives in Brooklyn. Like um, I, I don't know where you're kind of approaching these spaces. But wait, like, so is it like I'm not even biking, biking that far? Because like I, I got a road bike, you know, I, I can't be losing my 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 bike to the mud, have it absorbed in some like quicksand situation. Oh, you kind of went. Um, out. I do road bikes. I don't do any. Oh hell uh, yeah! Yeah, but I mean, I usually find something. Usually, I'll like find a little path. I'm gonna like lock my bike up or some shit. Usually, I don't know where I'm going, but at this point, whew, I feel like my cardio. Everybody's gonna know. All the thousands of people that watch this are gonna know that my cardio is not on. All right, dude, you're fun. Everybody loves this shit up. Um, <laughs> you're gonna be like, bro, I'm this not... guy fucking bikes. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's out of print. No, no fucking way. He's trying to look cool for the camera. <laughs> no, I bike all the time. I bike like thirty a day, bro. But yeah. look, she. But yeah, yo, that's just you got legs, uh, wheels for legs. Facts. Um, do you? That's why you I got said wheels. Got, you got wheels for legs? Shit. Not yet. Hey, Soon. Man, you got wheels for legs? Soon. Uh, we should bike. I've done like the thing is. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to be collect, calm and collected. Yeah, all right, Carl. I don't want. I don't want. I, I don't want people to know my real personality. So I want to be normal. <laughs> I want to try to be chill. Um, oh, on on the cool too. Yeah, you're, yeah, you know I'm cool, man. Like I'm, I do. So... I do parties. You know I make music. You know I'm. I'm cool. I never you're lose saying. my cool. I only. I only say cool stuff. Yo, <laughs> How yo, am I doing same, so far? Same. Come on. I mean, Jeez. I mean, you're doing all right. Like that, that last thing that we did that we threw uh, three weeks ago where it got raided by the cops, but like, oh. like we like spoke the cops out of it. Like oh. this kind of reminds me of that. This is like oh. that scene. Yo, yo. And there were mad females there, bro. Remember no. all the females? <laughs> oh, so many fucking females. Okay, I'm done with this bit. I'm done with this bit. I hope nobody watches this. You need to delete this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. This is done. My life is over. Um, no, no, yeah, it's the secret part. No one's gonna watch it. Anyways, the point is, I go on bike rides a lot, and I like to go to the water. And Canarsie is beautiful. South Brooklyn is beautiful. South Queens is beautiful. What that is? What is that? Is that like? Is that Flatbush? Uh, what do they call it? Longitude, latitude, Flatbush. So what are you saying? Dude, I mean, I don't know. like, how far, how far down is that? What, what's like? It's an, you know, I can bike horizontal. to, I can bike to the Canarsie. I can bike to the water in like thirty-five minutes. So, but then so you're I talking like, about you're talking about facing Manhattan water. No, the other way south. I don't want to go be around any more hipsters. If I go to Williamsburg, <laughs> if I go to Greenpoint, if I go to like LIC, anything that's close to the city has been fully developed, as in it's all <laughs> transplants. And if oh, you go, yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much if you go south of. If you like, where are we? Where are you right now? You were probably what, like 0.3 miles from me. What's your cross street? It's, it's um. What's your Grove, fucking address, man? <laughs> Grove and Evergreen. Okay, you're actually kind of far. You're kind of far from me. But like, where, where you if at? you, I'm not Stanhope in Cypress, so I'm like two blocks into Ridgewood. I mean, I could bike oh, to you okay, in like okay. seven minutes. I mean, you're still whack as fuck for not hanging out with me, but it's cool. It's fine. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, way to call me out. 
fucking asshole, man. Yo, all, to all the people watching this right now, Imitub doesn't ever want to <laughs> hang out with me. I can show the DMs. Put the DMs up. <laughs> Screen grab right, with hey, we're, my we're gonna pull it up. DMs. Yeah, do it. No, actually, don't. That'll be embarrassing. Black mirror. No, holy fuck, that'd be embarrassing because I probably asked you to hang out like five times. Uh, not um, even. Not even. I'm whatever. It's fine. I don't even care. Yeah, I've gotten like so two used times. to. Nah, fuck out of here. I've asked you to hang out like four times. Uh, like three, three times. Three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, Honestly, it's really probably right. it, it probably is five. It probably is five. You you probably would, don't even want to know if you look at it. I don't want to know. <laughs> Point is, I got really used to asking people to hang out this summer because I decided I like to hang out with people again for the first time in like four years. So I've been yeah. begging the people to hang out with me all summer, and so, I'm starting so to get. How, how do you even do that? How do you know you're on that? Because like, honestly, like I said before, I'm on my hermit shit, and I'm trying to like peel out. Everyone's like, uh, "Hang out," and I'm like, "Yeah, like." Mm-hmm. No, you're like, you're like, you're like, no. How long was that? Bro, you can just look. I don't want to get too real on the fucking on your art collaboration YouTube video, but are you are you a hermit or are you just depressed? Um that's a good question. I, I feel like up until mid winter it was like a good mixture. There there was there was some depression in there. Earlier on, like uh I'll say the depression was going like alone from probably stopped around like springtime before spring around spring you're talking spring of 2020 like this year this year wait what what months is spring spring is like the march april yes okay so so. you're i gotta pull up a calendar when you're saying when you're saying winter you were fully depressed from winter to spring we're talking about a year ago right so like i mean when i moved here yeah 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 when i moved That'll here do it. like what three three month buffer like i was like running around having the time of my life and then like right after that when it started getting a little colder you know then i was just like sure. fucked and then and yeah. that went on until like may and then it was neutral over For the a summer while. Was yeah, it? Would, yeah. would, would, and was no, it I'm, weather... I'm in that neutral zone. I'm in that neutral zone. Yeah, still. We, we, most of most of us are. It's like <laughs> peaks and valleys. Yeah. I don't struggle with it as much as a lot of other people, uh, like my friends that really actually can't go outside. For me, I had to like work myself into going outside or some shit. I'm like, no, nah, I don't really have it like that. I don't even have to. De- I can't even say I, I'm, I'm. I have depression. But anyways, we don't have to. I'm not gonna diagnose. Myself. Hey! I'm, a, I'm blessed. I have amazing, uh, very nice parents nice friends and probably very little chemical imbalance besides having a strange personality, which that just is from based off of my weird experiences. But anyways, um, uh, would you say that your, your, your depression was because of the cold, like seasonal, or was it just, it happened because when people move here, they usually, they usually in, there's a big emotional response, like about like three or four months in, like yeah. you know, people start feeling, yeah. Would yeah, you say it was the weather? Or it was just leaving. It was both. I got fucking dunked on. Like the weather and like the whole situation just shook hands and they were like, yo, fuck you. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I was like, oh. I was right, like, I guess wait, I'm wait. not leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you blink your eyes and it's like four minutes later. What were you um I probably asked you this and I you probably told me. What do you do? Are you do what do you graphic design or some shit? No, no, no. I do um it's uh, Furniture, it's like furniture design for the most part. Uh, but yeah, I, I like literally just work from home. So you, you could be home all the time and make a lot of money, make enough money. Rather. Yeah, make enough money, yeah. Were you having trouble? I'm sorry to ask personal questions. I'm just yeah, curious. It was it to the point? Was it to the was it to the point? Was it to the point where you couldn't even do your work? Or were you just not, were you were just having trouble with socials? And yeah, like, it was just I like was, social stuff. Yeah, social I mean, like, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, real depression. I was just like, it was a slump, <laughs> you know? I see. Yeah. Um, I definitely seen people move here, and I've dealt with it, but my worst period was, also, I came here in July 2020. So, I mean, it was just pretty fucked as it as already. <laughs> I, can, I still don't really have, a under, I still don't have a full perspective on 
the pandemic because we're still like at the tail end of it. I'm like pretty, I'm like looking forward to like a year from now or two years, hopefully a year where I can like look back on like what the fuck just happened. Cause like I was already fully fried before the pandemic. Like my brain was fried from like doing, like putting my, my, my whole, my whole self into like organizing. And then the oh, pandemic yeah, yeah. happened. And I remember being like kind of chilling. I know a lot of people said that, like, oh, man, when we were quarantining, man, like, I didn't give a fuck because like, I don't fuck with anybody, it's you know. Fun. But I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. you know what? I I wasn't chilling. I don't know why I always think that I was chilling. I was not chilling. I was so – that was the first time I ever tricked myself into thinking I was sick. Anxiety sickness is what I what I called it. I'll get a spell of it. Where uh, that's, like, the closest of, thing. That, huh? Based off of what? Uh, well, like, I'd never had it before. Like, I never dealt with, like, actual, like, physical, like, reaction to, like, anxiety or, like, any sort of, like, mental instability. But I remember, like, late March, early April of 2020. So I lived alone in a house, a shitty house, which I preferred. I preferred living alone. But anyways, I just remember I have memories of, like, waking up, like, doing my shit and then, like, um, like sitting on my couch and being, like, yep something's wrong i can feel it i feel like something's wrong oh and that then, bodily anxiety where i was just like i was just like something's wrong i'm sick i can feel like something's wrong and then i would usually like do something i'd usually just bike ride i just bike rided all throughout like the first few months of quarantine um mm -hmm. hold on i'm gonna yeah anyways um yeah and then i realized later i started doing like tai chi which is oh, i shit. don't know I don't know anything about it. And I was doing like the most bastardized version ever. I just watched like two YouTube videos and I would just be like in my house, like, <laughs> but I would do that in the mornings. And like, I can't even remember. I all like, Oh my God. When I think about it, I remember thinking I was like, I felt so strange. Everybody felt strange during early COVID. Wait, it was wait, so wait, 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 the, the Tai Chi though. No, I'll tell you about it, but I'm just saying, oh, like, hell yeah. I thought that I was, uh, uh, what's it? Gluten intolerant. Because I ate so much fucking spaghetti, bro. I would bike for like 10 miles and go home. Also, my house didn't even have a stove. I was cooking on hot plates. Man, that oh, place shit. was shitty. It was crazy. I lived in like an art studio for like six months after I got a, like the really nice gallery space that you went to. I probably told you this. Went to an uh, art studio and like squatted there and like had to cook on hot plates and like use a community restroom. And there was like, anyways. And then afterwards, I was given the house. Um, oh, yo. Pretty much I... Somebody like not given. It was like handed. There was like a the guy that owns Common House. I told you this probably. He owns Common yeah. House. He just let Ari have it. We talked about her, Ari Thrasher. Oh that had Common yeah, House. yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't. Yeah. I think she just called around because she's like resourceful, and she found this guy that had this house, and then she did Common House, and then he, Alex Alessi, is his name. He like runs a law firm on like. Uh, I can't. It sucks leaving Houston where I'm forgetting names of streets that I biked on. It's like just drifting out of my memory. But I like could bike to his like law firm. Like it was just in a house in like in near Northside. Anyways, fuck, I'm saying a lot. It don't matter. He was like, yo, if you find somebody to, because I think that the people that had the house before him were like actually mischievous, like, like incourteous like breaking shit maybe selling drugs maybe oh, maybe they may, like, actually like like they're trashy ass shit. and he and alex when he gave the house to Ari, and he was like oh they're like artsy and like they might not have normal jobs but they're paying my rent and they're pretty respectful so he was like just find somebody to take the house so she gave it to oh, this wow. person barry and his partner sissy and then they gave it to me and then i called him and i was like yo can i have the house he was like yeah and I never met him and I never signed a lease and I dropped the like the rent in like the the, the his like office mailbox. Um, and then since the pandemic happened, I never met him. I remember the last time we talked, we talked for like two hours. He was on some like, yo, man, every day's a blessing. And coming from like a <laughs> like a, my my 70 year old landlord that I'd never met. I remember being like, bro, you're so fucking right, man. Every day is a fucking blessing. Yo, yeah, Mr. He, he Mr. Alessi. I he was, was like loving levitating it. Anyway, when he was saying that. I I hope so. <laughs> I don't know anything about him. I don't even know what he looks like. But oh, it was a phone call. Probably, it was a phone call. I've never met him. I never signed a contract. He's like, nothing. bro, blessed be life, man. And I was like, yo, 
thank you. And then I hung up the phone and immediately lost all the vibes that I had. You ever like be having a conversation and it's like, yo, this is so great. And then you leave and then you just go right back to being like, like feeling uncomfortable or anxious or whatever. It's like, you yes, see, not going to lie, feel... not going to lie. That's like some of these calls. Like I, it would be a complete vibe on the call, you know? And we're just like, we're just like rhyming yeah. and like freestyling and stuff. And then we get off and I'm like, <laughs> Well, bro, you're not com you're not having a conversation, bro. You're just making art. This isn't even real. I'm just an experiment. I'm just like your guinea pig, man. Fucking. Is it? How does it feel? It feels pretty. Good. It's it's okay. Hey. It's good. No, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. We'll see what happens. But anyways, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm saying too much. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. The tai chi. The tai chi. Back no, to the spaghetti. Tai chi. Spaghetti. It's pretty oh, much. I got. Man. I was given this. I was given Whatever. this house. <laughs> and I cooked a lot of spaghetti on the hot on the hot plates, and then I was felt so strange for like a month, like March, April, May, and then I started thinking I was gluten intolerant. I was like thinking something was wrong with me. I started buying like multivitamins from the Walgreens, oh, just yeah. dumb ass shit. And no, dumb. I mean, yeah, that's, like, that's, that, that's not I, like placebo healthy, which is good too. Yeah. honestly, in my opinion, if it works, it works. Uh, because that's the thing. Like, I wasn't actually sick. I was not sick. There was nothing going on, but I never been so. Com it was that I had nothing to do. I, I it happens still. It's when I have no plans and when I wake up, my mind like short circuits if I have nothing to do and I just like freeze up. But anyways, the point is, I started I guess doing tai chi. I don't know why. I don't know what led me to that. And I only did it for like four or five months, and I would literally do it for like twelve minutes. And I would, but afterwards, I'd be like, huh, you know, I feel all right. And then I go on a bike ride, and I'd be like, yo, I feel amazing. And then I'd be like, and then I'd be like, I need to move to New York. What the fuck am I doing here with all this unemployment money? And then I moved to New York in June, July, in July, like 27th, 2020. And then I felt really strange. Again, I remember I got the, what I call anxiety sickness, like a month after I moved here, my money was running out. I had nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And then I remember being, I remember being like, oh, I need to find a job. And I was like, I don't feel good. And then I like felt really weird for like a week. And then it's always afterwards. I'm like, wait, that wasn't real. That was, that's like what, that's when I started realizing like, or like having some sort of like person or like experience with like very mild, like mental illness or like mental instability, like actually debilitating you. I was like, oh, I actually tricked myself into thinking that I was sick to the point where I couldn't leave the house. Uh, oh, whoa. Shit. And, I, yeah, and people yeah. have to deal with something like that or some variation of that or something like just anything that makes you not leave the house or make you not makes you not functional, that shit is crazy. Like, I try. I still it still happens. I just have to stay busy. But also, I don't really work a, like I work gigs. So, like I get lost in the sauce. Like in the last few days, I didn't wasn't getting many jobs. Like I'll just oh, do man. a moving job. But I was I was like yeah, oh fuck. Anyways, but yeah, Tai Chi. I did it. It was fine. I should do it more. Just like I should work out. Just like I should do a lot of things. But for oh, the most the part, the biking is enough, honestly. Shit, the biking you know, like, does a lot. The biking yeah, is a lot. Yeah. Today, I was feeling like I was in a rut. And then, like, the bike ride helped me out. But that was, like, literally just, like, three hours ago that I got back. Damn. Um, but I would, I usually, during the summer, I would go and bike out to the water, like, probably twice a week. I would bike. It would be usually, like, sunset. I would get, like, a, like two little, like, uh, Bacardis. I'd pour them into, like, a, a Snapple. I walk, I just walk down the beach or some sort of water area or some naturey shit and listen to oh, some like yeah. whiskey, listen, listen to some, some, some wavy some music. Drink. Some drink. Listen to, yo, you know, I'm today, Ratchet Happy Birthday came on in the shuffle and hey. I was like, that song is good, objectively good, but we're not talking about Ratchet Happy Birthday right now. Fuck, yeah, great yeah, song. Yeah, that, that, that's for you and Dom to talk about. It, it, oh God. It, it came on literally on my, I made the playlist. So I, I actually put Ratchet Happy Birthday onto my playlist for biking today because I'm a psychopath. But it came on today while I was walking down the beach. And I was like, yo, it's, it's, like, a, fucking, yo. it's a fucking celebration. You You're know what like, I mean? ah, this is a dream. You're like, it was yo. good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I like that song. I like walking on the beach. I like, I really like South Brooklyn. I like being around only people that are from there because they usually take care of their shit. Uh, oh, the, yeah. it's usually like just more well kept. I don't know why anybody told me that like S Southern Brooklyn and Southern Queens is oh shit. Um, our cat has been acting really weird. Like she's def she's sick. She'll she's been sitting on our fire escape for like oh no man. 
oh, not the cat. You don't have to pretend to care. <laughs> but she just ran by, hey, damn, she's lost a lot of weight. Why are um, you going to show the cat? You can't get keep. Hold on. How do you turn the thing around? I don't know. Oh, there we go. I'm a she's, just a, she's just a black cat. She's oh, fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you mean? She's she's vibing. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, look, that's a. I mean, I don't know what a healthy cat looks like, but that was a that was a decent jump. She's just been acting weird. She, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to talk about it. Damn, she has lost weight. Anyways, uh, my roommate keeps thinking that she's going to die, and I'm just like, bro, she's fine. But she just ran through the house, and she's been sitting on the fi- fire escape all day. Like she refuses to come in. Um. She, like, won't go and get her food. Like, I had to bring her her food. She's been acting so weird. But uh, she just uh-huh. ran by me, which I haven't noticed. I haven't seen it in a few days or a, a couple weeks where she'll, like, run around and be like a normal cat. Yo, you good? She's good. She's like, mind your business. She's, like, didn't even look at me. She doesn't care. But um, uh, what is Tai Chi is cool. You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Tai Chi... We'll get to that again. But I have nothing. I have nothing to say about it except for that I did a version of it that I made up myself, and it kind of worked. That's good enough. Then, I mean, like was, I was, I was kind of looking into it. Like my dad is like real big into Tai Chi for like no reason. I I never really asked him why, but like I mean, it's, he, it's cool. He he acts like he he does it. I don't know what the real deal is, but he's always like, oh, <laughs> just like, I'm like right. What do you mean? Like he acts like he does that like in everyday life, or he does that when he's doing tai chi. When he's doing tai chi, he, he does tai okay. chi. But I, I'm, you not, just meant, like, I'm, not, I'm not sure like how. He's... Oh yeah, yo, yo, that would be some like monk shit. That'd be if he was just be annoying. Always that'd be annoying. Mode. I'd be like, Dad, please, what the fuck? What We're in Walmart. That's Stop. what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to just like move. In tai yo, chi anytime, mode. anytime I see anybody doing tai chi in public, I'm like, bro, fuck you. Anytime, any, but I'm also just people really every, do that in public too. Yes, and and also like, some of it is like envy. What's well, one of those things where I'm like, if it's like an old yeah. person, I'm like, You're go off. Getting flexed on. But if it's like a young, like hot person, I'm just like, fuck you, fuck you, and your fucking college degree, and your fucking suburbs, and your two parents. Yeah, I'm yeah, just like, like, I, I literally, like I literally have all those things. Have all those things. I got a college degree, two parents, and I'm from the suburbs, and I do tai chi. In public, just playing. <laughs> Yo, I've become the monster. I would do it on my roof when I moved here. I did it a little, a little bit for the first few months on the roof, uh, but that was always weird because I was like, "Is somebody watching me?" But I wasn't gonna do it in the house because now I, mean, I live you with a roommate. Give them a show. So. Ugh, God, it's so. Right, it's just, yo, tai, tai bro, Chi tai classes chi, opening up next week Sundays. Tai, tai Chi is gay. I can't. There's no other way around it. You see me doing that, <laughs> like you're gonna know. You're gonna know that I, you know, that I'm fluid just by the movements. You know what I mean? I, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, yo, uh, Nate, let's do some uh, tai chi. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> you want me to do? I don't even stop, stop, stop. I don't even. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally like freezing up. I'm just like, no, I'm not about to. I'm gonna be like, and what's the next movement? <laughs> just watch a youtube video do your ask your dad okay he'll teach you would that be weird if you if you had your dad teach you tai chi yeah no no i mean yeah i Why? i gotta well seriously no that would honestly be like very cool um do you think you could be but... on that level with your dad that would be kind of sick i mean but kind of sick in theory but would you is there some would you actually do it Oh yeah, I, I guess totally you'd have to live. You, but I mean, you don't live with him, so I, I just need to like validate his like. Well, actually, I could just do it with him from like a, a video or some shit. Yeah, oh, honestly, wait, that'd well, be cool. Me and my dad. Are on, cool. Is your dad like? Is your dad like a respectable man? <laughs> Literally, no, this is a real. Thing. No, no, but but on the real, like, yeah, he's cool. He's chill because I definitely have met people that are like, like I historically like i don't like yogis because they're usually cunts like i don't know what it is or just oh, dude that... my, my dad is not like he he just happens to like tai chi and that that's what tai chi is different that, that's it's different yeah, specifically yeah. Fuck, he's, fuck not, yogi. he's not a yogi type at all but like have you ever met like someone that is like really into something like that like pilates or 
anything I actually don't even know what Pilates is anything that's like meditative that's supposed to be like peace of mind and like calm but they're just like assholes and then I'm just like you're making the whole thing look bad so if your dad if you were to tell me that you didn't like your dad I'd be like you probably shouldn't learn Tai Chi because it didn't fix him because he sucks Tai Chi is supposed to chill you out supposed to center you or something I don't even know those people who make that shit their their personality and you know are assholes after the fact that say, it yeah. is their personality it's like, like if you make it your personality just be nice but i think that like also just yoga and all that is like also a class thing and a lot of people that are rich are just no. unpleasant so that could I, be some of it I, I was talking to someone the other day about how like uh mindfulness and all of that stuff is kind of like something that's only accessible when you hit a tax bracket and like <laughs> it's yeah. almost like a deeply ingrained cultural thing for them to like still be at like it just comes with the money you know like it's like they're yeah. trying to reverse the fact that they're assholes but it's like <laughs> it's too late buddy like it doesn't have to be too deep late. cleaning <laughs> it doesn't have to be too late you pay your fucking reparations man <laughs> god damn it but um i don't know i i wish i knew i don't really know the history behind any of that shit but when i think yoga i think of like i think of like white people in like san francisco or just people that i don't like just like i don't even know it's fine all that stuff is fine i want people to be healthy um hey, i'm trying but i'm just speaking, trying to not be a hater and i've been speaking still about the healthy grind uh the biking oh yeah. no don't what do i not look fire <laughs> okay right. what are you saying Automatically, what are you saying that's gonna be the thumbnail okay you, you put the nail in the coffin that's fine. I don't care. Just whatever. Do whatever oh, you want. You're the boss. This is your art project. Okay. <laughs> Do whatever you fucking want. You can like. You can literally mute my voice and just put an Alex Jones monologue, hey! and it's just me. And it's, it's it's just you being like, "Yo, man, stop saying that." And I'm like, "Yo, Sandy Hook was a hoax." And you're like, "Dude, stop. You can do whatever you want. I don't care." Sandy Hook was a hoax. Just playing. Hey. Oh, too far. Too far. Ooh, too yeah, that's gonna be the whole video. It's just, it's just gonna be like three seconds. You're, you're just gonna be saying that. I'm be like misinformation. <laughs> Fuck, I'm done. All my parties. It's okay. My parties suck, anyways. Anyways, moving on. What do you want to know? What biking? What? Um, the biking. So recently, when I got my shit, it was in the shop for like 50 years, but I got it back, and it was, and that's kind of a funny story, honestly. Did I tell you last time? No, I'm just assuming you never went and got your. Oh wait, no, what happened? So I Go I on. I got this used bike from this dude all the way in the Bronx. Strike one. Okay, so yeah, I I, I take like <laughs> nothing nothing in... against the Bronx, but that's too far, bro. I got <laughs> no, my bike yeah. from Greenpoint, and I found my bike in like thirty seconds on Craigslist, and the guy was like, "Come over." And I was like, "Cool, I'll be there in ten minutes." Okay, go on. Oh, I'm different. really bad just... about interrupting, by the way. I interrupt. My shit's beautiful. No, 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 no. That's all good. But yeah, I I found it after like years. Of, well, not years. It was like two days. But this shit was literally wow. everything I wanted. And I was like, I was like Bronx. Like, all right. So I took like an hour and a half to get all the way up there, and then I finally run into him. And after like he he was like in his house. He was coming out. Um, and he was coming across the street to like show me the bike and everything. It was kind of sus, but he was like a He's just a frail looking dude, you know? So I was like, he's not going to kill me. And okay. he, he like shows me the bike. He tells me about it off this stuff. He's like, you want to take it for a ride? And I was like, yeah. Uh, and you so stole like, it. Did you steal that shit? You said, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I stole it. You crazy. You cra- no, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't oh, steal it. Okay. He was, he was right. way too nice. Like, I was like, it, he, he, like, it was an automatic curse on my conscience if I were to steal that <laughs> shit. Because he was just such a cool dude. But uh, okay, all right. I, like, so what happened? I like I like rode it around. It was really hilly where we were at, and I was like, I love this. So I came back and mm-hmm. I gave him the money, and then he was like, So uh, what are you gonna take the train? Are you gonna ride it? Uh, like where where do you stay? And I was like, I'm in um Bedstuy. And he's like, Oh, that's gonna be a nice ride. And I'm like, Damn, Skippy. And I was like, I'm gonna yeah. I was like, Long distance, let's go. So I took the shit. I make it down like uh one of the main streets is kind of like um broadway where there's the train running overhead and like mm-hmm. i'm like riding as fast as cars and like i'm feeling oh yeah and everything. oh i've been there i've been there yeah. many times yeah. it's beautiful <laughs> and i'm shifting all fucked up and i like while i'm pedaling 
like my my chain just fucking it, it like I, I can't pedal anymore it's just like Toop! and then mm -hmm. i was just like i i fucked the bike up and it's only been like 10 blocks you know <laughs> so i pull over to the side and then i have to like charge my phone at a t-mobile because i only brought my my apple pay on my phone so then i could get on the train and like i swear to god on the train it was like 50 old men that are above the age of like 60 year old 60 years old and they were just like complimenting my bike and it was like oh man oh. Nice bike. this is a cannondale like, oh, <laughs> nice. like, i was, was expecting like expecting that i hate <laughs> taking my bike on the train i feel like everybody's like bro you have a bike why are you on the train get the fuck out of here um no, so exactly everybody was just patting, patting you people. on the back they were just, yeah yeah literally they were, they were all like, just like nice. man, we love this guy cool like, good good bike man and uh but uh, <laughs> why doesn't anybody say story. that to me my bike suck is my bike mm. not 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 iconic not kind yeah, well, that's so I'll, rude. I'll give you i'll give you the rating whenever we my bike my bike enough. sucks honestly i'm not gonna talk about it go ahead what happened uh, did you fuck uh, your bike up is it broken no no oh so i got it fixed it was the derailleur that got like i was just i didn't know how to shift you know so that that was a story for no reason i no, just like telling it's people really that story. sad because look it's a good one because you no, broke no, your no, bike. No, that, that, that wasn't but, that wasn't gonna be like the main thing that I was gonna tell you. Is there you. another story? Tell you. Yeah, yeah, that was just like for that was for my fun, you know. That you was, you weren't I even on the that, juice yet. So, oh my god, bro! I, I, I have bored. this bike back now. No, 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 no. It's it's uphill from here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the bike back now, and I've literally been riding it like almost every day for no reason. Like before, I had a lock. I was just taking it out in the mornings and like sometimes at night just to ride around because that shit for no reason is the shit like i it, like i used to run but yeah running fucking sucks like universally it, does. it sucks yeah it sucks but i'm also i don't want to i don't for me it sucks i bike because i like to see new things i like to be in places mm -hmm. i've never been before yeah. it like gets me so fucking hype if i'm like when I turn a corner and I see something I've never seen and it's like interesting in whatever way that gets me very excited. And then also obviously there's the exercise, but yeah, you, you, so you actually have been biking consistently. Cause I'll tell people like, it's funny. Like, dude, let me show you. Not this that, not that many I've only had this bike. shit for a month. Hold on. I've been tracking my location and it shows me how much I've, I've done. See, 94 miles and i've only had yeah. it for a month not bad not bad so you're like doing like five a day five miles a day uh, yeah i guess so yeah you like yeah, it? You know. yeah 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 five yeah, miles yeah, yeah. Is, five it's miles. Slight, it's slight. it's slight. i mean five miles is not that much on a bike so i'm not impressed <laughs> like i'm always like damn I, hey, fuck you too. I mean i always feel like i bike a lot and then like i'll bike i bike to rockaway like to the beach i bike to coney oh, once so and i bike to the yeah, but that's the thing, really, I'm telling you, if you get on the bike and you devote a day to it and, like, you bring a bag and some water, you could bike to Rockaway Beach in probably 90 minutes. Wow. I'm you got to quit biking around bed -Stuy. You need to go to, you need to go to East New York. You need to go to fucking, you got to go past Crown Heights because that's when it starts being, like, New York. You got to hit the water. You got to do okay. Brownsville. You got to do Ozone Park. I'm telling you. I know so wait, spot. wait, wait. Whenever, whenever you do bike, do you like just do you take it all the way and you ride along the waterways or whatever, or, no, no. or do you lock I mean, the bike depends. up and then you start it's, walking around? It just depends. I mean, and, and have you been to far rock to like the beach, Rockaway? Yeah. Are you lying to me? No, no, I've been. You know, I, how, I, swear, like a... I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's like the boardwalk there that you can ride on. And Coney, there's like the there's like a boardwalk to, to bike uh, on. So you just ride uh, along the wall. I mean, there's like some there. paths, I guess, but I usually like to get off and like it really just depends. But that being said, I'm kind of running out of spots. Like I know the water areas of like a lot of South Brooklyn. I mean, it's not like I know all the neighborhoods that well. But like I know the spots that I can go to because it's either you can't it's either completely inaccessible or like I've been to it at this point. <laughs> and I want to been somewhere. I want to go somewhere like Canarsie Pier is like my spot. Like I really like went there and like vibed out in the summertime like five or six or seven times. Yeah. But that's the only place I return to a lot of other places. Oh, when wait, I go wait, back. wait, 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 wait. It's going to it's going to cut off. But you can just jump back into the same link. I don't, I don't pay for this. <laughs>
Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, Bro I was talking about something, man. Oh, I was man. I was burying Did myself. So... You? Oh, my, Yo, my bad, King. Yo, are Yo. you serious? No, you recording this? All right, there we go. Why did it say recording in progress? Oh, because this is recording. The other one wasn't, right? Oh, no, it was. You probably just didn't hear it. What? Yeah, I recorded all of this shit. Bro, what do you mean, man? Yeah, Yo, I thought that's this the name of the game. This is a simulation, King. Yo, are There's, you a fucking... Everyone's are watching, you a bro. Are you a fed? Yo, how many people are watching on Twitch right now? Is, is are, there a lot of, are there a lot of females? Are you talking uh, to a yeah. female about me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, like a, there's, probably, there's probably a good three out of like the 20 views this is going to get. So shoot your 20? shot. Shoot your shot while you can. Yo, I'm good. I'm lonely. I'm going to die alone. I, <laughs> I scare the bitches. It's okay. Hey. It's I know myself. Hey. I love myself. Hey, yo, cheers to that. That's but, that's facts. But with the with the biking, you were saying that you you're running out of spots. And have you you do you bike in Staten Island? I know there's a ferry you could take somewhere. So that's the thing. I, the reason I like this is because I can do it in like three hours, so I can have a oh, full so day. You're not trying to and make the like, trek. Sometimes, like the other, like I've had to get like more creative. But I usually like to like wake up and I usually do some email shit at the at the cafe, and then I'll do like a moving job. Or something on TaskRabbit, or I'll have sometimes that shit will be like all day, but like sometimes I wake up, I do like my management, my music management shit, then I like do a moving job, and then like I eat a lot of eating. I do a lot of eating, a lot of eating. Fuck. Hey. Uh, and then like it's like 4 p.m., and then I can get on my bike, and then I'll like ride out, and I'll be back by like 8. And then oh, it's so like a full some day. shit. But it's yeah. I always usually I'm biking back in 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 the nighttime. Yeah, because I want to. It's the sunset. During yeah, during the yeah. first quarantine, I was like there was nothing else to do, so I was obsessed with the sunset. Like sometimes I'd be like zoned out, or I like fall asleep, and I wake up, and it'd be like right before sunset, and I'd be like, "Fuck!" And I'd have to like, I'd run and get on my bike and like bike out because I had to. There was nothing to do. I was like, I got to see the sunset every day. So usually it's based around the sunset, but now that it's like this, the sun. It's like after daylight savings. Pretty much, I'm gonna gain a bunch of weight, like when the shit, when, because <laughs> like I'm not gonna just go on a bike ride at 5 p.m. and it's already dark. Maybe I will. <laughs> I like biking to the movie theater. That's another thing I like to do. I like to bike to the Regal Kaufman Astoria movie theater and see the last showing. I'm just saying all the stuff that makes me feel wait, like wait, seem, wait, wait. the last me showing seem of what? Of something, whatever I want to see. I'll go to the Is, last wait, showing wait, on a weekday. Want to see or like whatever is showing? Well, I'll make sure it's something I that's good. But mm, okay. there, a say, lot of a lot of times there, some shit. there's a lot, bro. The other day <laughs> I went to see, like, I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll go see Spider-Man. It has incredible reviews. <laughs> I walked out. I was like, what am I fucking 10 years old? This is you fucking. You didn't like it? No. Uh -uh. You're crazy, Every... dude. That shit no. was, it was kind of good. I don't, I hate Marvel movies. Everything was a that joke. Was okay. Literally every single, every, no, no. I'm saying like all the dialogue. It's recorded. Was like, it was all ha ha funny no, ha 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 I was like, bro, what the fuck? I'm trying to watch Batman, you know. I'm trying to like yeah, watch yeah, some you're serious, like, I'm you trying know? to fucking cry right now. I'm trying to see some some scary dark shit, but it's fine. I it wasn't for me, but also I was pretty tired. I'd gone to a Mets game on the same day. I was like trying to do the most. I went to a Mets game for six innings and then I biked to the movie theater. I was just trying to be psycho. It's okay. A lot of days I don't do anything and I don't bike at all. So to all the hundreds watching that seem make it seem like I'm really active and I see the world, I bike like twice a week. And usually it's usually it's legendary and I usually am intoxicated by the end of it. Hey, dude, so we, depending on how I feel after tomorrow, that show, me, you, you're not Chris, gonna... and Dom. Yeah? We should, Wait, we should have, ride around. Do they have bikes? We all got bikes in this hole. Whoa. And we, we all haven't been riding together yet. Like, before I had my bike, uh, Chris and Dom would ride around. Uh, yeah. I got my bike. Me and Dom rode around. I haven't, I've rode with Chris, but all of us together, we haven't been riding. My, like, okay. 
to keep it a buck fifty with you, buck. biking with people is scary because I biked alone for so for all the time. I was like the only time I was like, you know, I'll bike with somebody if it's like a, I'm trying to like go on a date. So I pretty much never biked with anybody because nobody will go on a date with me. So if <laughs> hey, we're we're going on a date. Yo, all, all I mean, four of us. <laughs> where are we going? We should go to Canarsie Pier and and drink beers. Oh hell yeah, that'd be the fucking shit. Would it be? Because you've said "oh hell yeah" so many times that I don't know if you actually ever excited when you say it. No, yeah. Well, I mean, when I say that now, yeah. Like, what about some of the other times? Wait, uh, when was the other time then? You said "oh hell yeah" like seven times, which is it, fine. I'm just like, there's no way I'm wait, getting wait, you wait, that wait. excited. In this in this call or like in general? No, in this call, you said it probably like. I don't know. You can count. It's definitely one of your <laughs> it's one of your things. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just like I'm not that excited to make somebody no, I mean, say, "Oh hell yeah!" You know, I'm 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 I, I'm boring. I'm not I, saying hey, that look, much look, bullshit. Look. I, I I throw them out, but they don't they don't just like. It, it's not like a. It's not like a cool. You know, it, it's like three steps above cool, and okay. what this is like a. You know, it's, it's a cool is in the middle. Oh, hell yeah. It's like three steps over, you know, okay. and then like the other end of the spectrum's like over here, you know? So like we're, we're, we're like right here, you know, in this as wide as the screen is. Yeah. So like right over from the middle in, in, right. in a good way. What's, what are the steps higher than that? Just like um, implosion. We'll say, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, like, like breaking out into tears being on all the way on the other side, like. No, no, the top, the, 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 the far spectrum is, bro. That's the <laughs> that's the most that's the most excited, bro. No, yeah, yeah that mean, that that and crying though, but like you know the like. No, no, bro is is worse than is more excited than crying. You, you I don't come know. From. <laughs> I don't. Yo, I don't know. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what this. <laughs> yo, you must be excited. Come on. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Yeah, we can bike. Well, well, we, we gotta, gotta put be, a date on it. We gotta put Here's a... the thing. I'm not about to do it on a weekend. I do. I'm only do. I only do weekdays. And you're scared of weekdays. No, week, weekday. Weekday is cool. I just need to. Like, if it's if it's word, like you know, I can't like. There's no like. Oh man, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the guys like right now, and they're gonna hold me accountable. I mean, do you think they're like, actually gonna? Do you think they'll want to bike ride with me? Really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dom fucks with biking, first of all, and like what? Uh, uh, Bruce and I'm pretty sure Drake's gonna be involved somehow, and <laughs> and, and and Chris needs to take his bike out. Uh, <laughs> he just all got right. his chain fixed. All right, you name the date, and I'll do it. Uh, Tuesday. Next Tuesday? Yeah. Really? You're really trying to yeah. do this, huh? Yeah. Are you just doing this for the video, and then you're gonna flake? No, look, you can hold me accountable. You can Tuesday doesn't work. See, oh no. On, look. Oh no, Tuesday does work. But we should look at the weather. Also, it's a little different now. I'm just making up excuses. Oh, it's a little different now because it's not summer. So you're gonna have to wear clothes. Yeah, dude. And... You're talking to the fucking I, I just started oh, it's gonna rain. Okay. Oh, actually, so it's not, not gonna rain on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, we can do Tuesday. It's just gonna be cloudy, you know, so it'll be a little ugly. That's fine. But who cares? And we, and we don't got to do that. We could just do like a few hours. We gotta, we got, we're not going to any, I don't want to be around any white people. So we're going south. What's that say? Tuesday. Sticky note. And it'll go, I'm, I'll put it on my laptop. Because if I put it anywhere else, I won't look at it. And I'll tell the boys right after this. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to your rescheduled text. Mm. Yo, man, yo, man, something came up, man. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm like, yo, oh, man, man, dude, Dom, Dom, Dom's not with us anymore, man. So you, <laughs> you can't do the bike ride. Yo, man, Dom actually came back to life. So we like, can do the honestly, bike ride. Honestly, the only reason why I wanted to bike was because Dom likes Drake, but Dom doesn't like Drake <laughs> anymore. So like, yeah, yo, Dom's not. not <laughs> yeah, it's real. Yo, Dom. Dom decided he's not really a fan of Drake anymore, so we can't get on the bikes. No cycling. God, I love Drake. I really yeah. don't like Drake that much. Drake and Kanye, we're not going to get into it. 
but it's pretty upsetting what's gone on in the last couple of years with both of them being just completely oh, irredeemable for a, for a, for a mainstream rap fan such as myself seeing the two kings completely embarrass themselves in many ways <laughs> it's really sad anyways uh the the man's making an example out of himself uh but that's that I don't I haven't looked at any of the Kanye shit. People will send me videos at his recent interview and I'm like I don't even want to hear what he has to say. I don't yeah, even the care. Man is I know all it's I know place. it's psycho. I don't even want to know. I just want music. I just want the music. That's it. Anyways, we're not going to talk about rap music because I'll just rant about how we're in a we're in a drought. You don't want to know about that. <laughs> a recession. We're talk about biking. We're in a we're in a hip hop recession. It's okay. There's still plenty of it. It's, the, it's still the best the most the most dense genre of all time so there's still oh, lots yeah, of nuggets yeah. most like but, it's like it's in every country that's mm -hmm. just kind of crazy okay but hold on, hold on hold on okay let me just say if we like 2013 2010 to 2014 because i love a cultural moment i live for that shit when like tip and butterfly came out and everybody was like whoa at the same time did you listen to it did you care do you like kendrick yeah, to people but yeah yeah of course like how it was like everybody freaked out about it at once and like drake like take care of everybody freaking out at once and kanye like to like Bible, everybody at once that was all happening at the same time none of them kendrick's album is good his last one was good but he didn't drop for like five years frank ocean hasn't dropped there hasn't been a, a album where somebody drops and everybody goes nuts over it in like five or six years like uh donda was pretty good more some morale mm. miss donda was okay it was fine it was, I, it was, yeah, it was, it was decent yeah. i listened i listened there was like i listened to it for like two weeks and i don't really return to <laughs> yeah. more, but that's better than the, the drake album like the whatever the one with the pregnant women on it like i listened to oh, it like yeah, twice yeah. i listened to it like twice and i was like you didn't even no listen interest. to it yet it, it just uh, it just felt like he just kind of like it fell out of his pocket, and he was like, "You guys gonna have it?" Oh, and then there was the honestly never, the honestly never mind one. I listened to on the train the morning it came out because I'm still a psycho and listen to Drake, and I was laughing in the train. I was like, "Man, this is horrible." Anyways, point is, there was a point where like the three like top people were all putting out classic records all in, at the same time, and I'm like, "We don't have that anymore." What the fuck? Okay, that's it. Nobody wants to hear that. Just take that part out. Now we have to. Now people are excited about Lil Durk. I'm like, I don't. Lil Durk is fine, but why don't we have somebody that makes good albums? I want a classic. Okay, I need classics. I want everybody to be excited. I want to hear it coming out of people's cars and shit with smoke coming out of the windows. And I know that well, person's yeah. vibing because I vibed out to it too. Like honestly, honestly, that that was that that was that Kendrick Lamar album that just came out. That shit. It's a good I album. think that was a that was a a slapper. I kind of. It's definitely not the thing that you play passively, most of the, exactly, the yeah. songs, but like, I don't know, that, that, that's what I do whenever I feel like reading, if that makes any sense. Wait, you listen to Mr. Morale when you read? No, 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 like, like uh, when like, I'm in the, the same reading mood, I listen to that. Oh, it's, like, it's like analogous. I feel you. Yeah, when I put it on, I'm like, I'm putting it on. I would say the record put is on good. Your reading glasses to to listen to the music. I put on my hip hop head, my lyrical, my lyrical hat, but it's fine. The record is fine. I just didn't the, like. Oh, we're really doing this. Good Kid, Mad City, and Tobima Butterfly have insane replay value to me. Damn had very little replay value. While it's still a, the record is good, the music is good. Mr. Morale, like I listened to it for like a couple weeks. And yeah, like not, I like I kind of like I kind of like pop music. Um, oh, okay, okay, that, that makes I sense. Like, though. like re replay value because it is heavy. Uh, but yeah. at the same time, it feels like what made Pimple Butterfly like so good was the fact that it was both. Like all of his albums are like really dense, but that one you could listen to it like actively and passively. Honestly, when I think about it. I wonder how much weed has to do with it. And like the fact that I had a car, I wonder, cause I used to like, just like everybody else used to smoke a lot of weed from the ages of 18 to like 25. I smoked a lot of marijuana and listened to music and drove my car in Houston. I wonder if I still smoked weed and had a car, 
if I would like, if I would be like, oh, the new Kendrick album's a classic because I just was stoned. Because I know that shit would hit if I was stoned and driving. Oh, hell but I don't, yeah. I, but I, don't listen to, I, I don't listen to it when I bike, though. I listen to it all the way through when I bike, like, once, and I skip the track where they're arguing because it's just too abrasive. Oh, yeah. That shit is intense. I'm just like, skip, even though the song is fine. <laughs> Anyways. Like, okay, cool. Hope nobody, wants hear, nobody wants to hear <laughs> me talk about rap music, but we're, in, we're, we're very much in a, in a drought. In the glory days when I was delivering pizza, pizzas for Papa John's in New Caney, and listening to Yeezus and cry, I cried the first time I listened to Yeezus. Man, in my while delivering a Papa John's pizza in New Caney, Texas, I was like, like in my car, like 19 years old. Legendary moments. That was and that now, was very that was a strong ass time. I and during that time period, I was in like late high school, and me and my friends like camping a lot. And I don't know, it was a uh, that's awesome. Where would you yeah. go? We would go to like. So of course I'm from the suburbs too. Like, it was in um, you know where Baybrook Mall is. You about to tell me you went camping behind Baybrook Mall? No, 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 not behind Baybrook Mall. In the suburb, like area, like real neighborhoody spots, like those, like this undeveloped area, and there were these mm-hmm. like super southern kind of like uh, redneck kids that mm-hmm. kind of like cleared out like an area and we were kind of cool mm-hmm. with them and they were like yeah you guys can like camp out over there so we just wait like, was it right off of bay, bay area boulevard it was off of um or el dorado that? boulevard no it was uh it was the road you know where san jack south is actually beamer. yeah i've been there once yeah i see beamer yeah yeah like, like the early uh side of beamer that intersected with uh i think it's el dorado yeah, I see it. There's a um, big yeah, green yeah. patch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. We we'd have you a little would, spot in there. And you what? You probably smoke blunts and listen to listen to hip hop. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we did literally everything. Uh, it, it was a real cool time. We brought tents and stuff. What do you mean everything? Like you were doing acid at, at age seventeen, in the, in the forest. <laughs> uh, I mean, some of us did. I was I was straight edge until I was like twenty. Uh, and then I started jumping into stuff. Why? Why'd you do that? Was it a girl? No, 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 no. I was like, uh, I was really religious, I, like yeah, extremely too, religious. Mm-hmm. And then, like, um, I would I would smoke weed every now and then. But then there was this like one specific experience that I had. It was like weird as fuck. But me and all my friends were in our pothead phase, and we're all just like hanging out at one of the friends' apartments. And then, like, uh, it was like a blunt rotation situation. Hold on, I gotta. Yeah. And then, like, um, uh, what happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, blunt, blunt rotation situation. And we we're all smoking the same thing, but I had like a DMT trip, and I just kind of like <laughs> fucking faded out of reality. And like, uh, my my perception was completely you know, different. It was like I was eternally in hell. And everyone <laughs> said that, like, I was acting completely normal from, like, their perception. Uh, but wow. I would just, like, stop, you know? And then I would act normal again, and I would stop. And then, I, But I have no recollection of anything that they were talking about. And mm-hmm. so I, I felt like I was dying for forever, and then I came back. And then after that, I was like, <laughs> I was like, religion isn't what I think it is. You know, don't then, tell me you don't you tell me that you love Jesus and then you had a bad weed trip and it made you stop loving Jesus. That's no, a no, 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 not, 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 not Jesus. I, I was I grew up Muslim. Oh, OK, my bad, my bad. Um, you know, but I mean, but it's it's the uh, same realm, you know, it's like Abrahamic religion. But like, yes, as corny as that sounds, it. that is it's, what it's, that's it's, what, it's less corny since it's Islam, because I know nothing about oh, it. I'm just like. I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's fire. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Literally know nothing. Everybody I know lo- where Christians are corny. I mean, I feel like that's kind of just, I would say that people think that Christians are corny and Muslims are not corny. But that's just basically probably based off of ignorance. No, um, I mean, what do I, think? I think, what do I think about that? I think, I think that's you think just Muslims based are corny? Uh, nope. No. <laughs> no, no, I think I think it's just because Christianity is like 
deeply associated with like whiteness and like super conservatism so like yeah no one really fucks with it because of that but I, they're they're cool i think all religions are cool now I, i'm more like i'm with them too uh, <laughs> no literally i'm just oh like, hell yeah you not oh hell yeah um oh hell yeah <laughs> yo you love you, you love you love religion damn oh hell yeah um no that's that bro moment like no irony but I, I was also really religious. I um, went to Bible school. Did I tell you that? No. So, but it's totally different because the religions were different. But uh, yeah, I was like yeah. a super Christian boy. And my dad teaches, my dad is like a theologian. So he has a PhD and like, oh, my dad shit. writes books about Jesus and like, and it's like been, a, my dad has been in like the, the Christian academic field for like 50 years. Um, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I went to what Bible school. What does he mm-hmm. study? He's it's mostly history, but my dad teaches oh, like okay, Hebrew. Okay. My dad also teaches like world religions and shit. And then I'm just like, so you teach world religions and you still are evangelical? That's so weird, but it's fine. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> my bad. So 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 you you were like Christian as hell. He Super was like, Christian. He was like, and I, you're you're extremely Christian. <laughs> no, that's the thing. He's like, welcome. I, <laughs> no, <laughs> just, just so you know, Nathan. No, my parents are extremely. My parents are angels. They're perfect people. I love them. They're special. <laughs> no, this is no. This is dead ass. My parents are like no, yeah. extremely perfect, amazing people. And then I was like, I remember they were like, "You want to go to Bible school?" Because I went to like I chose to go to a seminary, and I was. And they, I remember them being weirded out. They were like, "Nathan, what, are you, you sure?" Did? Yeah, I went to Bible school. I went to Washington State, and I went to a Bible seminary <laughs> for a year why because i might be looking back on it is because my parents were so cool that i was like oh christianity is cool and then when i left i was like oh no this is whack <laughs> literally Yo, that's kind of sick i was like oh my my parents like are just like chill and like are cool with gay people it's like cool whatever yes and then i went to like bible school and there was like a whole thing about like what do we do about the the gays or like, what do we do about women being pastors? And I was like, this is weird. Oh, and then yo. also, I just started smoking a lot of weed. It was mostly the weed. I can't even lie. Pretty much, I remember my friend was like, it doesn't matter. Pretty much, I started listening to like clips. I remember my friend, you know, Pusha T and Malice. Oh, After yeah, I like yeah. came back from Bible school, my friend was like, yeah, man, whenever you started listening to Absol and clips, I knew it was over for you. And I was like, because <laughs> I used to listen to that. I was like in my Bible school little dorm. We didn't even have dorms. We lived in... Like the school was in a church because oh. we didn't have enough money. Yeah, and the dorms were just houses in the neighborhood. So I lived in a house with 12 dudes. And I lived in a room with a, like in a bunk bed. And anyways, it don't matter. It like don't military, matter. Military, but like Christianity. But, but Christian. And then like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I But the first semester I was into it and then I literally just like fell out. I was just like, and that was it. That's I was like weird. weird. It was weird. the weird. It was, <laughs> i remember like being there and like the school was like um had like 700 people in it it was like an offshoot of moody bible institute which is in chicago which is like a well-known christian school that my dad taught at. i was born in chicago and my dad taught at moody bible institute and i was like i want to be like my dad so i applied to it and they sent me to like the reject canvas in spokane washington <laughs> And then the first semester, we all, like, did our – and I started, like, smoking weed. I hate that, like, smoking weed is, like, so – such a pivotal, like, moment for, like, me and for a lot of people, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Like, right before – right after I graduated high school, I was, like – I broke edge, and I was, like, oh, weed is chill. What? This is great. I love <laughs> – I love, like, going to You're concerts. Like, wait a second. And, like, I like the opposite of what they want from me. Well, but that's the thing. I was, like – I was, like, on some, like – Oh, like, like I can smoke weed and like pray. That's what I was on oh, for like no. for like a little while, and then I went to the. So I mean, that's the my secret parents, sauce, honestly. It's fine. I mean, it didn't work for me. I was just like, wait, no, I don't. I'd rather just smoke weed and not pray. Uh, I'd rather just smoke weed and like eat Whataburger. But uh, point is, I went like my god it doesn't matter my parents drove me to washington because like my i'm like in a boy scout family my parents like love the mountains and like we've gone on a bunch of road trips 
And I remember I snuck a little bit of weed with me in a pipe. And I'd be like, we get to like a hotel or something. And we'd be like in Colorado. And I'd be like, yo, mom, dad, I'm going to go on a walk. And I would be like, this is my last time I'm ever going to get high. And I like go into like the forest and like smoke weed and then like skip rocks and sing like praise songs. That was a thing I did. I went and skipped rocks while singing Jesus worship songs while stoned on my way to Bible school. Oh, anyway, dude, you were in there. So weird. I'm just like, bring him back. I bring him back. <laughs> I would have been a really good missionary. But that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like, I wanted to be like a hippie missionary, dude um you texting somebody you got somewhere to be we're talking for another two hours bro we're not even we're not even close enough <laughs> oh, no! and we no. got a lot more yeah that, that was my partner we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap up in like five who's coming over no no one's the coming partner? over yeah i got okay. i got my partner some uh some flowers today bro whatever man i don't care i'm trying to tell about my <laughs> i'm talking trying to talk about my life story anyways the, there's the story's over and i uh stopped being a christian and my parents are still and now the reason i told all that is because i went to a mega church with my mom in chicago after i stopped being religious and i was like oh this is fine but when i was really christian i was like fuck all mega churches man they're like polluting everybody's minds and now i'm just like well, yo honestly. this uh, but now i'm just like it makes all the simple-minded people happy who cares just let them happen who cares i don't yeah. care I mean, I mean obviously... religion, religion on its own for like the individual is like the 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 shit, you know. But whenever it becomes too community based, whenever like you got people gossiping and shit, that's whenever it it's turns to bad. trash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But whatever, that's what happens when you but put people together. Gives them something to do. Get in that that tai chi. I'm I'm for the tai chi, Nate. Uh, and mix I'm that not, mix that in that. with the weed. You can you can be like uh your your I old have... self where you used to walk and sing your songs. Well, high. Like you can I've do taken, that with the tai chi. I've taken one hit of weed all year, and I felt high the next day, the next morning from the one hit. Now Dude. I just do. I drink alcohol and I do a little bit of ketamine, and I call it a day. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I I, I had I, a a gummy like a month ago, and I I don't I don't smoke or anything. But wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Before you go, I want to. You need to tell me more about because I like. I'm sorry. When you were talking about you had the your bad weed trip and then you were done being religious, uh, tell me more about that. Or oh, just like can, that, we can jump into that. That I like. That literally completely changed my personality, which is like just weird to say. And it was like what, like fifteen minutes or like an hour long, like trip, so to speak. Yeah, like, it, I I don't even know how long it. It was probably around like at the very least 30 minutes but like and this is 30 minutes of people's perception of me you know where i would like talk and i would stop and then i would talk and stop yeah and they 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 started freaking out and they were like throwing water at me and shit to try and like snap me out of it um (laughs) and i was just like it was like I, i was split you know and my perception the entire time felt like i was just dead I, I wasn't myself, and I was just like watching, just this warping, and it, it felt like I was in hell. Like I thought, like I was. I once I came back from that, I was like, I thought I was a good Muslim, but I'm in hell. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a lot about that later. Whenever we're, Tuesday, whenever we're riding around, that shit was fucking dank. It, it, it I'm just like, thinking about the chem- like what happened, like what what got you that stone because essentially you were just really high and oh, yeah. young, and you were young so you were sorry so uh yeah i wonder like what it is that made you like trip out that hard because we doesn't do that yeah it mm. doesn't i i was i was after that happened i was on this like long search for like what the fuck happened like i was like mm-hmm. did i have a stroke did i uh was there like a <laughs> Uh, some specific thing to me and like my neurobiology that fucked me yeah. up or like this this and this but that was the only time that's ever happened and i smoked a lot like not a lot before then but i was like a average sm- like very casual smoker i only smoked when i was with my friends and that was like close to every day and <laughs> after 
<laughs> like just very casually, you know, and uh, it never happened. Uh, but when I when I do smoke or whatever, it's like it, it's always like some uh, I don't know. Uh, very uh i don't I, I use it for like self development if that sounds weird it's, it sounds dumb or weird but like i get really fucking reflective whenever like that last time when i had like a, a gummy uh like it was like a month ago it, it was like a milestone moment and i just like wrote it, i saw like it, not literally but i i could kind of like get some third person perspective and i'm like Oh, that one thing that I was thinking that I should do like um, like three, four months ago, like I'm not doing it. Like maybe I should tap back into it. Am I really aligned with that? And then like I think about other stuff. And so I, I, I get high like what four times a year, but purely for reflection. It's like I get, therapy. I get so <laughs> physically uncomfortable when I'm stoned. It's the reason I don't do it is because it makes me feel makes my body feel really gross. That's why the fact that you can just get high and you can think clearly and it makes you reflective and like clear headed is so no. fucking weird. Literally, like, it doesn't though. Like at the first half of that is literally the same thing you're talking about. Like I, I like, um, I, I like get like an anxiety attack or whatever, you know, because like sometimes I'm like shivering and the paranoid thoughts always kind of creep in, but. That, that's why I usually do that shit by myself, or if I'm like really so it's, comfortable. So it sounds horrible. People. You just told me that you like to. You just left out the whole first part where you're like, "Oh no, I feel horrible yeah. for like four hours." Yeah, no, geez. yeah, the, the the first half is always terrible, and then after that, you know, then I can kind of like relax and then get real reflective because like I gotta like check myself, you know, uh, and then I'm like, w once I check myself, then like I can like really uh, see things transparently without all the worry and all of that shit but it's like a whole it's a whole thing that's why i don't smoke around people only in like really small groups where there's not too much to think about because like i like overthinking mm -hmm. when i'm high you know like it helps mm -hmm. me it helps me get through all the shit that i haven't been thinking about um and whenever i'm in public you know i can't just vibe you no, know when i'm high no. as fuck like, i can't even <laughs> vibe in public when i'm sober i'm always like <laughs> yo what's going on um yeah, that's interesting. I wish I could. I would love my stoner days. It was great. Um, I just like being like, I like substances. It's fun. Um, hey, but I can't do that, it. Mix that with the Tai Chi. No, dude. I'm not going to do Tai this Chi. I know you're like romanticizing Do it on your rooftop. This. Do it on the rooftop. <laughs> All right. Go go hang out with your partner or whatever you're going to do. Hey. But uh, I could have, we could have talked for, you know, we could have talked all night, but it's fine. You're busy. You know, you got, you know. You're in love, but not me. I'm just gonna hang up and just be alone. Yo, what are you talking? About? You got the coffee. You got the bike. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm actually gonna go and see some music. God, but I'm like, fuck. I have to go and do a thing. I have to go be in public. Hey, tomorrow. Oh. I'm gonna catch you there. All right, we'll I see told like that. two people already. Two whole people. Two. They people. better not be talking. They better if y'all if you do come. Let them know it's probably gonna be a low key thing. The music's gonna, We're gonna be cool. trash the place. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I'm gonna show up blasted. I'm like, so <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are gonna talk, you better go to the fucking porch. But I bet you come and your friends, it's too. It goes over all y'all's heads. I bet the music will be too deep for you. So oh, just man. make sure you you eat a gummy before, <laughs> but but have a terrible time for like four hours, and then on the fifth and, hour, and then I'll pull through, pull up. All right, yeah, I'll see you yeah. then. All right, catch you around, man. Bye.